changing my room. When I was a baby, I slept in a cot. It had big push-up sides. Willie really slept there too. When I was bigger, I got a bed. My old cot was kept on the other side of my room. I liked it there. Willie really liked it there too. One day I was busy building. Mummy said a new baby called Ben wanted to borrow my old cot. Tig, can baby Ben borrow your cot? Okay, I said. Thanks, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Daddy took his toolbox off to my bedroom. I could hear lots of bangs. Daddy was taking my old cot to bed. He took off one end, he took off the other end. Crash! Daddy shouted, bother. Mummy thought the crash is funny. Daddy clumped down the hall with the cot to bed. When I heard the clumping and clatters, I had a look. My old cot looked different, all squashed in bits. I wanted my old cot back in my room. So I hid a bit of the cot behind the armchair. Daddy clumped, clumped along the hall. Wait a minute. Daddy was fuddled. Who's moved the cot? I haven't touched it. Daddy saw the cot behind the armchair. Tig. I want it back in my room, I said. Daddy said my room was much better without the cot. Mummy said, we can make my room all exciting. I said I wanted it the same. Hi, Tig. Change is scary, but you know what? Change is fun too. Like changing your doll's clothes. Changing the colour of your shoes. Changing what you build with bricks. Whoop. There. Hey, I'm changing your face from grumpy to sad to happy. So go for it, Tig. Have some fun and change your room. Hey. And you'll make baby Ben happy too. He'll love your old cot. Yes, I thought. What's the fuss? Baby Ben can have the cot. There it is. Come on then, let's go and change your room around. Go and and I can have fun changing my room around. <laughs> Mummy and me had fun moving things. Without the cot, we had loads of room. That's us all finished. What do you think of your room? I don't see my toolbox. Oh! Daddy found Willie in his toolbox. Oh no, there's a spider in my toolbox. Who is it? Oh, it's only Willie. I like my room. And I like changing things. I love Willie. Did you like it? Eating new foods. When I was little, my daddy had a birthday. I gave daddy a birthday cake hat. It's my birthday! Daddy looked funny. We had a surprise. Mummy took us to a restaurant. Willie came too. Inside the restaurant, there were lots and lots of tables. Mummy told Daddy to take his hat off. A grumpy man came along and told us to sit down. Menu for you. Mummy said the grumpy man was a waiter. 
Daddy was excited and did funny things. Take it. <laughs> stop it, just stop it. Set up and behave. Mummy told him to behave and set up straight. So, ready to order? I wanted fish fingers. Fish fingers. <laughs> there were no fish fingers. Yes. I think I might have the spaghetti. Daddy said I might like spaghetti. Are you too? Okay, thank you. Thank you. There I saw a little boy. <laughs> the little boy disappeared. I looked under the tables and saw the little boy crawling towards me. <laughs> Rush! The grumpy waiter tripped. You shouldn't crawl around in restaurants, said Mummy. Mummy gave me a colouring book to colour in. The grumpy waiter landed our spaghetti plates on the table like aeroplanes. Then he sprinkled pepper with a giant pepper pot. Let's get stuck in. I looked at the spaghetti. It was all long and wriggly, with green and black bits. Mum said just to try a little bit. I ate a black bit. Yuck! Do you not like olives? You ate an olive, said Daddy. I love olives. Daddy took away all the olives. Take this one. Oh, I got it. Try another bit, said Mummy. I wanted fish fingers. Hey, Tig. Not liking things is OK. So now you know what you don't like. Yuck. Find out what you do like. I like spaghetti because it's fun and wriggly and yum in my tum. <laughs> hey Tig, your dad's got rid of the yucky taste, so have another go. Or I'll eat it all up for you. Mmm. Go for it, Tig, tuck in. So I thought, I'll have another go. Oh, look at that big bit. <laughs> That's brilliant. What a good girl. Oh, well, you're loving it, aren't you? When I finished, the grumpy waiter took my plate away. That's only a spider. Then the waiter came back. <laughs> With Daddy's birthday pudding. Look at that. This is the best birthday cake I've ever had. You really like it. I like new food. You like that? It's all Willie. Yeah, he likes it. Mm, he loved it. <laughs> I love Willie. Here, wash day. One day, when I was little, my daddy came home early from work. Had a good day. It was nearly bath time, but Mummy said me and Daddy could play a little. OK, you two, there's time for a quick Come game before bath time. It's really going to play as well. Hide and seek, hide and seek, I said. Okay, right. Willie played too. First, okay. Daddy okay. head okay. first. No peeping, he said. One, I counted to ten, One, two, but I couldn't four, quite stop eight, peeping. Nine, ten, up, here I go. I found Daddy behind the sofa. Willie's turn to hide, I said. Right, so six, seven. No peeping. Nine, ten. Willie was hiding under a cushion. Let's see, is he behind there? Daddy found Willie. There you are. Now it is going to be your turn to hide. And me and Willie are going to both close our eyes and we'll count to ten. Okay, you ready? King Willie, seven, eight, nine, ten. Daddy and Willie opened their eyes. The Wendy house. Are you in there, Tig? 
They look for a long, long time. Anyone here? No. Bath's run. We'll just be a minute. Did you get the shampoo? Shampoo? I like to have my bath, but I hated having my hair washed. I crept into my little house and hid some more. There you go. Don't be too long. Tig! I think she's behind this curtain. Daddy couldn't find me. Well, at she's not there. I didn't want my hair washed. I think she might be in our bedroom. Mummy and Daddy looked all around the house for me. Where's Tig? Well, she's not in the living room. Oh dear. Found you, Tig. No wonder we couldn't find you. You move hiding places. No hair wash. So that's it. You don't want your hair washed. Stingy. So close your eyes, like in hide and seek. Eyes tight shut. No peeping, so nothing will get in your eyes. Then count to ten. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber, three rubber dubber, four rubber dubber, five rubber dubber, six rubber dubber, seven rubber dubber, eight rubber dubber, nine rubber dubber, ten rubber dubber, ping! All done. No more stings. <laughs> hey, Tig, go get your hair scrumpled. <laughs> Yeah, Rubber Dubba. I'm here, I shouted. I couldn't find you, said Daddy. Come on before the bath gets cold. Why should we go to wash Willie's hair as well? Bath time, said Mum. Mummy washed my hair. I closed my eyes tight. Cold, what? Like in hide and seek. I think it's too hot. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber, three rubber dubber, four rubber dubber, five rubber dubber, six rubber dubber, seven rubber dubber, eight rubber dubber, nine rubber dubber, ten rubber dubber, and swish! When my hair was washed, there was a big splash, and Mummy jumped. Don't worry, Mummy. Oh, and my dog is fine Mummy dried my hair. Daddy dried Willy. I like having my hair washed. It's so wet. Oh. So does Willy. I love Willy. Swing park. When I was little, my daddy took me to the swing park. Oh, we dropped Willy. Willy came too. On the way, Daddy kicks a ball. Oh, oh, you got it! I kicked the ball too! <laughs> at the playground, we ran around looking at all the things we could play on. The slide was very tall. Three, two, one, take it rolling! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I bounced on the springy seesaw. This is great fun. Daddy bounced on the springy seesaw too. Daddy and me jumped on the trampoline. Willie jumped too. Night -night. I swung round and round in a basket. Lullaby baby. Daddy swung in the basket too. <laughs> what shall I do? I swung in the ropes. Daddy showed me what to do. Daddy was so funny, he hung upside down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's parts for children, you know. Oh, sorry. A man with a dog told Daddy that the playground was for children. Daddy said sorry. After the man with the dog, Daddy didn't do funny things. Then Daddy pointed. There's Angel, he said. Who's that over there on the seesaw? Angel! That's your friend. 
It was my friend Angel. Yeah, but then I saw Angel was playing with some other children. I didn't know them. I wanted angels to play with me. Daddy said I should go and ask to join in. No, I said. I felt left out. Angel was playing with new friends and not me. Hey, Tig, you've always got me to play with. Watch me. Hey Tig, it would be fun to join in Angel's game. Are you worried she might say no? So, why not ask Angel and her friends to join in your game? And your game is sliding Wooly down the slide. OK! Whee! Yeah, I said, we grabbed Wooly. Said Angel, come and see Wooly slide down the slide. Yeah, said Angel. We all slid Wooly down the slide. Wee! Come on, one, three, two, one. Then we all ran off together. We pulled the bell ropes. Bang, bang, ting, well. Daddy found Willy. Ah! It's only my toy spider, I said. I love playing with my new friend. I love Willy. Choosing. When I was little, I went to buy some clothes with my mummy. Willy came too. I can see some lovely dresses in here. Mummy said I needed a new dress and a new pair of shoes. At the dress shop, there were lots of dresses to choose from. I chose a sparkly dress. Mummy said it was very pretty for a party. But it's more pretty for a party? Mummy said I need a dress for every day to play in. Mummy showed me a red dress with pockets. I tried my new red dress. Yes, I said. I liked my new red dress. I like choosing. The next shop that we went to had a lift made of glass. I can see some pretty dresses. It was like flying. At the top of the lift, we met Daddy. Hi, Tig. A lovely new dress. Daddy liked my new dress. OK, then, do a fashion show. <laughs> Daddy bought new clothes too. You were quick choosing, said Mummy. You were very quick choosing all of that. Yeah, the man in the shop helped me. It was easy. Daddy said the man in the shop helped him choose. Let's go get the shoes. See you later. Bye. Here we are. Ooh, look at, at the shoe shop, they had lots of shoes. Hi there. Hi. I liked all of the shoes. So if you want to pop your foot in... The lazy had a special measuring machine for feet. The lady said my feet were growing. I couldn't see them growing. The lady said, what colour shoes do you like? Blue, I said. Then I saw a red shoe. I want the red shoe, I said. I tried on the red shoe. So they both fit, but what ones do you like? Which shoe do you like, said the lady. Red and blue. You have to choose one colour shoe or the other. I wanted both shoes. One red, one blue. Mummy said, why don't you choose blue shoes to go with your new red dress? Well, why don't you have a wee think? Both, I said. Hey, Tig. Choosing can be hard. Do I have this one, or do I have that one, or do I have both? Hmm. One blue shoe and one red shoe looks fun. 
But when you buy shoes, you buy them in pairs. Two shoes together, two shoes that match, two shoes the same colour. So you have to choose. Two blue shoes or two red shoes. Mmm. Hey, Tig, it's difficult, isn't it? Sometimes when you are choosing, you need a bit of help. Your daddy had the man in the shop to help him choose. But you have your mummy to help you choose. Mummy said blue shoes will look good with your red dress. Well, you like blue and red together, so why not choose the blue shoes for your red dress? Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I like blue and red together. I'll choose the blue shoes to go with my red dress. Good choice. The lady put my old shoes in a box. When the lady saw Willy, she nearly dropped the box. It's already a toy spider. Trying really hard. On my way home, I played no stepping on the pavement cracks in my new blue shoes. I love Willy. Sand Castle. Right, Tig, where shall we put When I was little, our base camp? I went to the seaside. We had buckets and spades and a picnic. Oh. Willie came too. Okay. There was sand everywhere. Oh. Mummy and me ran down to the sea. Mummy showed me how to draw pictures in the sand. Mummy drew a mermaid. We gave the mermaid lots of shells and seaweed hair. Tick! Picnic time! Daddy made a picnic. We had sandwiches. There's not sand in your sandwich, is there? There was sand in my sandwich. Shall we go back down to the beach and see that mermaid? Come on. Come on, Tig. After the picnic, we looked at the mermaid. The mermaid was gone. Just see. She must have swam away, said Mummy. Come on, Tig. Let's go make a sandcastle. OK, it's time to build the sandcastle, said Daddy. We built a real sand castle with our buckets and spades. We made a big hill of sand. We patted the sand and made the hill smooth. We filled our buckets with sand and emptied them all over the hill. Wow! We made windows in the castle with shells and flags with seaweed. Looks just like a mermaid's castle. Looks like a mermaid's castle, said Mummy. I loved my mermaid sand castle. Willy loved it too. When it was time to go, I wanted to take my sand castle home. No, Tig. The sand belongs on the beach. No, said Mummy. Tig. Why don't you go and get Willy? I didn't want to leave my sand castle. The sea might wash it away. I want to live with my mermaid castle forever. Hey, Tig! Whee! I know it's sad leaving things behind you like. It's glum leaving things you had so much fun making. But some things belong where they are. Sand castles belong on the sandy beach by the sea. If everyone took their sandcastles away, there'd be no sand left to play for another day. A hill, a pool, a starfish, an octopus. Who knows? Swish, what magic shape. Swish, the sand will make tomorrow. 
Swish. But today we have... Da -da -da -da! We have your mermaid and her castle. So go for it, Tig. Wave bye-bye to your mermaid and her castle and let them go back to the sea where they belong. Yes, I thought. My mermaid and her castle belong to the sea. Bye-bye, mermaid. Bye-bye, castle. On our way back to the car, Willie and me chased Daddy. Daddy thought Willie was an octopus. It's only my toy spider, I said. Come on, Tig. Come on. I loved my day at the seaside. I loved my mermaid and her castle. And I love Willie. Hey, Tig. 